from yahoo.com Trump campaigns on border wall progress. There's not much of it by Eli, Eli Stokels at LA Times. President Trump, whose plans to campaign on a booming economy were ruined by the coronavirus, traveled Tuesday to the southern edge of Arizona to highlight completion of more than 200 miles of powerful border wall with Mexico. He didn't mention the fine print. Nearly all 216 miles built since Trump took office replaced outdated or dilapidated fencing. Only about three miles of new border wall system have been constructed in locations where no barriers previously existed. So when he says completion of more than 200 miles of powerful border wall, the lie here is that it's really completion of their repairs. Pretty big lie. Pretty big lie when you understand it that, oh, yeah, we were, we, uh, we repaired that uh, a couple miles of fence there. We completed a couple miles of fence there. Oh, by completed, I meant complete the repairs. Mm hmm. Sure. No, this is a, that's a big, I mean, even by Trump standards, it's a big, blatant lie. And I wonder, like, I, I want to know, you know, among Trump supporters right now, like, is this is this like a silver bullet? Are people going, oh, yeah, you couldn't even get that done? Is he going to blame that on Corona? We'll see. You know, I think I, I, I'm looking forward to, to, to Joe Jorgensen at a debate with Trump and Biden going, yeah, you said you were going to do this, and then and you didn't, and then you lied about it. I it, Just to see this called out nationally, Trump repeatedly pledged during and after his 2016 campaign that he'd make Mexico pay for a big, beautiful wall on the entire 1,954-mile border. So far, the Trump administration has spent $15 billion on the project. Mexico has not contributed anything. And this is where Trump is going to say, well, no, no, we, we've, got, we've got illegal immigrants paying taxes, and if you add up all of that, we may, well, we, you know, we're mad at Mexico. No. There's, there's some, and we've accepted this. So, you know, you, you all know me in terms of having, you know, a more positive worldview and, and, and really always looking at the, you know, bigger dynamics, the, the, the course of human progress and, you know, where things are going. And there, there you know, even, even with that, like, is Trump the worst president? No, Trump, you know, again, you know, again I'll give Trump credit where it's due. You know, as, as, as Trump increased the viciousness of America's foreign policy, I don't think so. If anything, I think he, he's, he's, he's continued the general trend and the decline in that. Right? Yeah. So if that's the case, then I'm not saying this to say, oh my gosh, Trump is terrible. It's a step backwards. But you know what? There is one thing. There is one thing about Trump that really does represent a major step backwards for America and for humanity. And for the people who, who follow him, who previously had a higher standard of, of integrity, of, of intellectual integrity, um, are, are you really going to sit there and, and tell me that? Donald Trump isn't a liar. And then he's created this system around him with his base where they excuse all of the lies. That was a joke. Oh, yeah, I was just joking. Oh, I meant this. Oh, yeah, I just went down to the bunker to inspect it. I mean, I could go on and on and on. Well, we had more people at my inauguration than any other inauguration in history. Well, it's time to reject this one way or another. And I've endorsed Joe Biden, Libertarian nominee for president. No questions there. 
And I don't think Biden would be meaningfully different than Trump. But really, if, if he wins or Joe wins, I will celebrate a return to a little more intellectual integrity or a higher standard of that in our conversation. Because the people who have been trained, the Trumpa Loompas, the Trumpophiles, the, I don't know, what, what do we call them? The worshippers of Orange Jesus. Uh, Cheeto Jesus. We had some, we didn't we have more good ones. The uh, oh Trumpy Dumpties. Yeah. The Storm Trumpers. They, they got to give this up without Trump. This constant excuse for lying by government officials. But Trump especially, and I'm I'm really excited one way or another to move past this era of Trump where even just covering the news includes deconstructing Trump's lies on a daily basis and going, no, he's lying about this. Although there is one big silver lining here. Never before has the American federal government, as it does now under Trump, have had so little credibility.